ओके ऑल ऑफ यू प्लीज स्विच ऑन योर कैमराज एंड प्लीज राइट इन ग्रुप दैट सर इज स्टार्टिंग द क्लास फास्ट Please put the heading level and vt. Good morning, all of you, and please put the heading level and vt. So, what is and vt? And vt is a regular series of payment. Okay, like just I am giving you a practical example. On twenty eighth or twenty ninth of March, I took a. फॉर्च्यून गारंटी प्लस पॉलिसी फ्रॉम टाटा टाटा ए आई सो वॉट वॉज द पॉलिसी सो करेंटली माई एज इज ट्वेंटी फाइव आई नीड टू पे ट्वेल्व इंस्टॉलमेंट एनुअली आई नीड टू पे ट्वेल्व इंस्टॉलमेंट एनुअली ऑफ ट्वेंटी फाइव थाउजेंड ओके तो आई एम मेकिंग फॉर एग्जाम्पल दिस इज टाइम जीरो आई हैव मेड द फर्स्ट पेमेंट ऑफ ट्वेंटी फाइव थाउजेंड I will be making the last payment at time at time eleven because when we start from zero, the twelfth payment is at time eleven. In advance, when we are making the payments, the twelfth payment will be at time eleven. Basically, time eleven is the end of eleventh year and also the beginning of the twelfth year. Okay, this is how we draw the timeline. So the last payment of twenty five thousand will be here. so i am making a regular series of payment of 25000 annually in advance okay then the company says there is a cooling off period okay the company is saying there is a cooling off period of 5 years in 5 years i will also not pay to the company and the company is also not going to pay me okay so till time 16 again there will be no payments and from the 17th year onwards from the 17th year onwards the company is going to pay me 43000 okay so from the 17th year onwards the company is going to pay me 43000 for the next 30 years this is the policy so all the kind of payments in which there is a feel of regular payments is annuity annuity is nothing but it is a regular series of payment okay now there can be monthly payments for example i have purchased this desktop okay this desktop costs more than 1 lakh rupees so let's say suppose i have a bajaj finance card where they offer 0% interest on the products do you know how does bajaj finance earn they earn by the company for example this desktop is of dell for example the desktop or the laptop whichever you are using is of the company dell then due to bajaj finance emi option there is more sales this is normal economics so let's say suppose if i am having an iphone which costs 1 lakh rupees okay and my salary is also 1 lakh rupees so will i be able to purchase the phone if there is no finance the answer is no so what does these finance companies do they boost the sales okay they boost the sales by offering emi opportunities equated monthly installment okay so every month i need to pay let's say suppose 12000 rupees for 10 months so the total payment is 1 lakh 20000 and the cost of the product is 1 lakh so the extra 20000 is the earning of the finance companies come in come in now what are these finance companies doing like bajaj finance is offering at 0% emi they charge a processing fee ask in your home whether they use the bajaj finance card or not if your parents are using the bajaj finance card and if you are going to purchase a product they will sir, they will say sir there is a down payment cost okay processing fee cost which is roughly 1 or 2% of the product value so there they are earning and they are uh like the emi duration is very short ranging from 4 months to 6 months to maximum 8 months okay and they also charge from the company whose product is being sold because due to bajaj finance the product is getting sold okay 
like for example swiggy if you see it is just the delivery cost of 20 rupees 30 rupees no due to swiggy and zomato there is a boost in the sales of all the uh, hotels and uh, like food joints so they are charging some percentage of the sales from the food joints also and that is how they are earning okay so this is the business model there is a two way earning so annuity write down annuity is a regular series of payment annuity is a regular series of payment annuity is a regular series of payment the word level means same amount the word level means same amount the word level means same amount full stop now let's take few more examples to understand what how does annuity work now let's say suppose i am aged 60 i have retired from teaching and i have a corpus of 100 crores okay so i am financially sound i know a little bit of finance and the financial products so i i might not need an annuity i can manage my funds myself but think about persons those who are who, a person who is a doctor if he is aged 60 now he wants to retire now he will not have any more earnings so he will take uh who else doesn't have the sheet you are having the sheet so let's say suppose if he is if he is not going to have any further earnings so basically he will approach a insurance company or a banking house and he will say sir i am giving you let's say suppose 10 crores till the time i don't die you pay me every month a specified amount so the lump sum is being converted into a annuity now let's say suppose i have a dream that i want to go to harvard university okay at 30 age okay the cost of doing a 2 year mba from there will be 1 crore so i approach a bank at age 30 like 5 years from now i need 1 crore rupees how much should i deposit every month so they are going to back calculate and they are going to tell me a specified amount so basically it stabilizes your cash flows you see all the working people they are they are having employees provident fund they are having public provident fund some of the percentage of their earnings is going towards mutual funds why because if the earning is 1 lakh rupees then they might end up spending all 1 lakh rupees so what happens is if the salary gets created on 7th of every month on 10th of every month they will be having few amount like for example 5000 rupees going towards mutual fund they will be having 5000 rupees going towards a fixed deposit they will be having 2500 rupees going towards public provident fund so these all are savings products these all help us in our bad times or maybe when we want to purchase some capital asset we need to have some sort of savings na okay so annuity is a regular form of payment okay now the payment is not necessarily annual it can be months it can be quarters it quarter means three months it can be four monthly it can be half yearly okay so all these things we need to work on now there are two things which we need to study the present value of an annuity and the accumulated value of an annuity okay now the first case in which i was a retired person age 60 so basically i am getting monthly payments from the bank or the insurance company so they might say you uh, there is a payment of 25000 every month for 10 years please calculate the present value okay one of the question is every month i am depositing 10000 for 20 years calculate the accumulated value at the end of 20 years so either it is going to be the present value pulling back the money or it or it is going to be the accumulated value okay which is compounding again now the payments is not necessarily level they might come up with a exotic annuity where each let's say suppose the first payment is 1500 and each payment goes on increasing by 500 so the annuity will be 
फिफ्टीन हंड्रेड टू थाउजेंड टू थाउजेंड फाइव हंड्रेड थ्री थाउजेंड एंड सो ऑन ओके दिस इज एन इंक्रीजिंग एनविटी सिंपल इंक्रीज वट डज द वर्ड सिंपल मीन्स सिंपल मीन्स द इंक्रीज इज टेकिंग प्लेस बाय अ स्पेसिफिक अमाउंट इट कैन बी लाइक दिस ऑल्सो टेन थाउजेंड नाइन थाउजेंड एट थाउजेंड अगेन सिंपल डिक्रीज बिकॉज द इंक्रीज इज टेकिंग प्लेस बाय अ स्पेसिफिक अमाउंट फॉर एग्जाम्पल लेट्स टेक द एग्जाम्पल ऑफ माई कोचिंग फीस एवरी टर्म आई इंक्रीज द फीस बाय फाइव परसेंट हाइपोथेटिकल एवरी टर्म आई इंक्रीज द फीस बाय फाइव परसेंट सो नाउ द फीस इज थर्टी थाउजेंड नेक्स्ट टर्म द फीस विल बी थर्टी थाउजेंड इंटू लेट्स सपोज इंटू वन पॉइंट जीरो फाइव आफ्टर वन मोर अटेम्प्ट द फीस विल बी थर्टी थाउजेंड इंटू वन पॉइंट जीरो फाइव स्क्वेयर एंड सो ऑन ओके नाउ वेन द इंक्रीज इज टेकिंग प्लेस बाय अ सर्टन परसेंटेज बाय अ सर्टन रेट आई कैन गिव यू प्रैक्टिकल एग्जाम्पल्स लाइक मेडिकल कॉस्ट सो ना इफ अ मेडिसिन इज कॉस्टिंग वन फिफ्टी रुपीज इसी नेक्स्ट डे द मेडिसिन विल कॉस्ट रफली अराउंड वन सिक्सटी फाइव वन सेवेंटी रुपीज why because of inflation housing rent now if you rent a flat it is roughly 15000 near in this uh, radius 2 km radius after one year it might be roughly 16000 or maybe 16500 something like that so when the increase takes place by a certain percentage it is known as compound increasing annuity okay simple increase compound increase they might come up with more exotic uh sums like for the first 5 years there will be no payment the payment is going to start from the 6th year onwards like the policy fortune guarantee plus which i took okay so they are saying sir once you make 12 payments there will be no payments for 5 years that is a cooling off period and then you are going to get the payment so basically if you if i ask you my payment my my receipt is deferred na my receipt is basically deferred now i am just making the payments then there is some cooling off period and then from today if i see when i turn 42 after 17 years i am going to get the first payment so basically my receipt my income is deferred so these kinds of uh, annuities might also come the crux is same either they are going to tell you pull it back to the present or they are going to tell you accumulate it to the future that's it let's take the example of a company itc so itc pays roughly the share price is roughly 250 rupees now okay it pays roughly 10 rupees dividend last year it paid a dividend of roughly 10 rupees it is a dividend yielding stock what is dividend when companies they earn profits the shareholders they get dividends okay so itc is a dividend yielding company it has a good dividend yield dividend yield means what basically we calculate 10 by 250 so basically how much of the market price the company is paying as dividend now companies have perpetual existence means if today my company name is actuators educational institute i suppose the company is going to be there for the next 200 years 300 years it is not going to end it is known as perpetual existence so till that time the company is there the company is going to pay dividends so dividends are received in perpetuity an annuity that continues forever is known as perpetuity the word perpetuity is made of two words perpetual means something which goes on forever and annuity perpetual annuity is known as perpetuity so let's take the example of company dividends so till that time the company will be there the, the company is going to pay on dividends so they might ask you to calculate the present value of all the dividends you know what is this share price 250 if you have little bit interest in finance how is the market price what do, what do you mean by 250 rupees what is this 250 rupees basically this is the expected present value of all the future cash flows that i am going to get from the company okay this should mean something now what is this 250 rupees the share price 250 10 rupees 400 rupees whatever it is basically this is the present value of all the future dividends and the capital appreciations 
that I'm going to get from the company. It is the present value of all the future receivables from the company. That's, are you are paying me thirty thousand rupees? Why? Because you know that in future you are going to earn in lakhs. Okay. So basically, this two fifty rupees is the present value of all the future earnings that you are going to get from the company. Okay. So this is the share price value. Okay. What have we written till now? Let's see. Okay. Okay. Now we will take some case examples. Okay. What is V? What is V? What is V? Tell me fast. What is V? Tell nicely. The page. What is V? What discounting factor for one year? It is a discount factor for one year. V is also known as one by one plus I. Okay, or 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 one minus D. Clear? Write down case one. Case one. Calculate present value of an annuity. Calculate present value of an annuity. Calculate present value of an annuity of rupee one, of rupee one, paid in arrears, paid in arrears. What is arrears? End of year, advance, start of year, due, start of year. Arrears means end of year. Calculate the present value of an annuity of rupee one, paid in arrears for n years. For n years, for n years, rate of interest i percent per annum. Rate of interest i percent per annum. In the whole uh, CM one curriculum, this is the last chapter, annuity, in which you are learning something new. Okay, today is the last class. From next class onwards, whatever we study, whatever we study, will be from these classes only. Okay, so it is not difficult. It's just how you understand the concepts. So you need to spend more and more and time, more and more time with your books. Okay. So we'll draw a timeline. So zero, one, two, dot, 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 and don't copy anything. Now the first. Thing, will there be a payment at time zero? No. Payment at time one? Yes. Two? Yes. The last payment will be at time n. Okay. So all these payments are of rupee one. Okay. We need to calculate the present value. This means what? This means what? The first payment will be discounted for one year. The second payment will be discounted for two years. The third payment for three years and the last payment for n years. What is the discount factor for two years? V square. Discount factor for three years? V cube. So we can write present value at time zero is what v. One into v is what v plus one into v square is what v square plus dot 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 plus v to the power n. This is the present value. V plus V square plus V cube plus dot 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 V to the power n. The last payment will be discounted for n years. So, which kind of series is this? GP, where the first term is V, the common ratio is V, and number of terms is n, because there are n payments. Don't confuse between years and payments. In GP series, we are concerned with Number of payments, not with number of years. There might be half yearly payments. Then in n years there will be two n payments. So the number of terms will be two n, not not n. Okay. So what is the formula? A one minus r to the power n 
by 1 minus r if r is less than 1. So here v is what? Less than 1 unless and until there is negative interest rate. Right? V is what? 1 by 1 plus i. So if there is negative interest rate then only the answer will be greater than 1 or else always it will be less than 1. Okay? So v 1 minus v to the power n by 1 minus v. We are taking this v to denominator's denominator. Okay? So now this will be 1 minus v to the power n by 1 minus v by v. Clear? This is 1 minus v to the power n by 1 by v is what? 1 by v is what? 1 by discount factor for 1 year is what? Accumulation factor for 1 year? 1 plus i minus 1. So this is 1 minus v to the power n by i. 1 minus v to the power n by i. And the notation for annuity paid in arrears is a n. Please look at the notation. It is a n. A subscript n. A subscript n. All of you please switch on your cameras. Mohak Bajaj, Komal Jain, Siddhant, Aditi Verma, Gaurav Agarwal, Vaibha Vadva. Fast. N is in subscript. Okay. So this is present value of an annuity paid in arrears for N years. Okay. Now next case 2. All the things are same. All the things are same. Payment is in advance. Write down. All the things are same. All the things are same. Payment is in advance. Payment is in advance. Write in bracket due. Due. You all have copied. Payment is in advance. Listen to me. So, if the payment is in advance, so again we will start with timeline. So, basically present value, advance case, okay. So, now if you are drawing the timeline, this is 0, 1, 2, dot, 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 n. Okay. Now, here it will be n minus 1. So now the first payment will be at 0. Advance means what? Start of the period. Here the payment is in annual. So the start of year is what? Time 0. 1 means what? One mean, here 1 means what? Beginning of second year. Okay. And the last payment will be at n minus 1. At n there will be no payment. But sir, n is also the beginning of n plus 1th year, then why not the payment is at time n? Because the duration of the annuity is n years. So if an annuity is for n years, then the number of payments will be n only. Okay. So again, present value at t is equal to 0. Now this will be 1 plus v plus v square plus dot 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 v to the power n minus 1. Again the same formula. So this will be a 1 minus r to the power n by 1 minus r. What is 1 minus v? d. Because 1 minus d is v. So 1 minus v will be what? d. So 1 minus v to the power n by d. And the notation for this is a u n. Above A, there are two dots. Those who are attending regular classes, it's seen in history, in my total teaching history, they have never failed. It's a challenge to them that if they are attending all the classes and if they fail, then it's a money back guarantee to them. You cannot fail. Even if you try to fail, you will not be failing. The person who is attending all the classes and if there is college, 
the student is watching the backup same day you will never fail the exam a d u n you are laughing i am joking a d u n next next accumulated value arrears case case 3 accumulated value arrears okay so now if you see 0 1 2 3 dot 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 n now the first payment will be at 1 second third last payment at time n so now accumulated value will be at time n so the first payment will be accumulated for how many years wait first payment will be accumulated for how many years n n it is we need to calculate the accumulated value of this annuity at time n and the payment is in arrears so the first payment is at time 1 okay is there a payment at time 0 no so for how many years will the first payment be accumulated n n n plus 1 very good n plus 1 n n plus 1 n plus 1 we need to accumulate from time 1 to time n so how many years n minus 1 from 0 to n how many years n years so one year gone so how many years left n minus 1 from 0 to n it is n years from 1 to n it is n minus 1 okay so the first payment will be accumulated is this stuff the first payment will be accumulated for what is 1 plus i 1 plus i is the accumulation factor for one year so we need to accumulate the first payment for n minus 1 years so 1 plus i to the power n minus 1 plus 1 plus i to the power n minus 2 plus dot 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 plus the payment which is made at time n we need to accumulate it to time n only so the value will be same so it will be plus 1 now reverse the full thing now reverse the full thing so it will give you 1 plus 1 plus i plus 1 plus i square plus dot 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 plus 1 plus i to the power n minus 1 okay komal jain komal jain is it fine bhuvan joshi yes sir okay what series is this gp series gp series but now what is the first term r is greater than 1 so we'll use the formula a r to the power n minus 1 by r minus 1 when r is greater than 1 okay so 1 1 plus i to the power okay next question how many terms are there n why but in power it is n minus 1 so 1 means what what does 1 mean can you say what does 1 mean 1 plus i to the power 0 anything to the power 0 is what 1 so from 0 to n minus 1 n terms from 1 to n n terms from 0 to n minus 1 n terms from 1 to n n terms clear so 1 a r common ratio is 1 plus i r to the power n minus 1 by r minus 1 so 1 plus i to the power n minus 1 by i okay 
मोहक बजाज ओके द नोटेशन इज एस एन द नोटेशन इज एस एन नाउ योर क्लास वर्क इज आई एम गिविंग यू फाइव मिनट्स योर क्लास वर्क इज अक्यूमुलेटेड वैल्यू एडवांस केस ओके स्टार्ट योर क्लास वर्क इज अक्यूमुलेटेड वैल्यू एडवांस केस डू इट 